isn't incredibly annoying. I'm delighted that it pleases you. Honey, I mean, Kelly, can we please not argue ironically anymore? Remember the time we both hated each other and instead of dealing with it, we fled on a romantic trip to Paris sarcastically? <laughs> Things really got out of hand. Fine, we'll argue at face value like the boring middle class couple we're becoming. Oh, I told you this before, Kells. You can't call yourself middle class if we can barely pay our bills and have a new species of mould growing on the bloody radiator. <laughs> anyway, have you got any dinner ready? My stomach's grumbling so loud, Apex Twin wants to sample it. <laughs> Apex Twin? <laughs> What's wrong with Apex Twin? Apex Twin is for people who know nothing about EDM. Everyone's listening to Chipmunk Nazi at the moment. Chipmunk Nazi. Oh, well, thanks for not reading my blog at all. His sound <laughs> basically involves sampling the noise of a genocidal chipmunk and then flowing some drum and bass in the background. He's playing tonight. I wish you could go and see him. Okay. Okay, putting the notion of genocidal chipmunks aside for one moment, did you make any dinner? Uh, no. Oh, why not? I was listening to Chipmunk Nazi. Come on! Now, I know you don't know gender stereotypes, but you're unemployed and you're at home all day. I am an artist. The only art I've seen you make are tea cosies, one of which had Robert Mugabe's face on it. Well, yeah, I think I've explained the aesthetic and, and juxtaposition behind those tea cosies very clearly in my blog that you haven't read. You won't make any money off them. And we're flat broke as it is. But uh, they're meant to be non-commercial. It's a big massive fuck you to all the stuff you'll find at Debenhams. Are you still bitter about being fired from Debenhams? It's what sets me free, Brandon. Okay, okay. <laughs> Putting aside the notions of Robert Mugabe tea cosies or genocidal chipmunks, I have some important news from like the real world. What is it? We're getting a lodger. Why? We need money, Kelly. I'm working minimum wage, and I can't see your Mugabe tea cosy business kicking off anytime soon. Who? Oh, where's he or she gonna stay? He staying in the study. You you mean my inspiration room? <laughs> no. Oh my God. I mean the study. I'm putting the spare bed in now, and as a university student, so he's actually going somewhere in life. And I want to at least hide some of those Robert Mugabe tea cosies before he comes over, yeah? Scene two. The house looks considerably tidier than before, except Kelly, who has made no effort to look smart and is still twiddling her thumbs while Brandon circles the room anxiously. The doorbell rings. Oh, he's here. OK, Kelly, be on your best behaviour. God, it would be nice to have like a real intellectual in the house. A scholar who I can discuss Sartre and Camus with. Come in! Well, hey, he's coming in for a viewing. <laughs> Boom, he's coming in for a viewing. Well, hey! Hey! You must be Gary. Bobby Dash. I'm Brandon. And this is Kelly. Well, hello, hello, hello. What's a beautiful girl doing in a dive like this? Brandon? Yeah, what do you mean, dive? Uh, Brandon! I mean, Kelly is actually my girlfriend. Oh, sorry, mate. Yep, if I was you, I would definitely go up that down. Right, so this is the kitchen, <laughs> here's the sink, and um, well, there's a radiator over there, but we advise you not to go near that. Locked that down? Some sort of object to you, am I? Uh-oh, we have a feminazi on our hands. <laughs> you ever even touched a girl? Touched her mother last night? Up here, Brandon. <laughs> probably better not high five you guys, I'm going to uh, be honest, OK? Say no more, mate. <laughs> I'll just show you to your room. Yeah. Just feel free to have a look around and I'll be there in a minute, okay? Oh, God's a hard look around. Get that creep out of this house, Brandon. We need him to stay, Kelly. He's the only person who answers my ad. And we've got bills to pay next week. But, but he's like ISIS or something? Come on! 
It'll just be a month or so until things calm down. Unless you want to ask for your job back at Debenhams. If you love me, Brandon, you won't make me go back. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Some sort of Robert McGowey tea cozy? <laughs> it's nothing, guys. I'm so sorry. Get away from my art, you philistine! This is fucking genius! <laughs> what? It's amazing! This is going on Facebook. No, it, it is amazing, but you're not supposed to like it. You're not my audience. I thought you were just this boring feminist. But you are the queen of that. I am <laughs> not the queen of banter. I'm, a f I'm firmly opposed to both banter and monarchy. Gary, <coughs> sorry, I mean Gaz. Yeah. Could you just put the tea closer down for me, please? No worries, mate. Just having the bounce. <laughs> bounce. Anyway, mate, the room looks pretty mint. I can probably move in tomorrow if that's all right. I'll have the rent then too. Sweet. <laughs> Is she mad at me or something? Don't worry about her, Gaz. She's just having the bants, you know. No, no, no. Well, you're welcome to stay and have some dinner if you'd like. You know what can I do, mate? I'm off to see Chipmunk Nazi. No! <laughs> Chipmunk Nazi's gone mainstream! Scene three. Kelly is seen dramatically packing her bags. Come on, Kelly. Stop packing all your bags and threatening to leave. It's such a, it's such a clinch. I will not live in the same house as that prehistoric baboon. Come on. He's not so bad. He liked your tea cosies. He, he didn't like it in the right way. He's just a walking embodiment of like everything I hate. Maybe you can change him, though. Oh. Maybe you can develop him into someone who isn't misogynist and disrespectful, yeah? Remember when you first met me? How I kept mansplaining, where I would try and make you understand things in a very condescending and patronising way. Did, did you just mansplain the word mansplain? I'm getting better at it, Kelly. I only do it when I'm stressed out, like right now. I want to what you say. So, you want me to train that prehistoric baboon? into something resembling a normal human being? I'm saying that with your influence, you can make a real change in someone's life. So? And write about it on your blog. Now you're starting to make sense. You could write about it on your blog, and all the feminist people on the internet will think you're really cool. That was a bit mansplaining, wasn't it? A bit, but I don't want to pretend that I'm moving out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're so cliched making up like this. In a nice way, though. <laughs> And by this time next week, I'll convert a uni lad into a feminist and become like a bigger internet sensation than that woman who was racist on the tube. Scene four, Kelly is sitting at the kitchen making dinner. Honey, I'm her... Oh, sorry. I mean, significant other who is equal to me in every way. I'm here in the place where we live. <laughs> Your dinner's on the table, which I've prepared out of a spirit of generosity rather than conforming to traditional gender norms. Oh. And in the even greater sense of generosity, partly due to the joint I smoked earlier, <laughs> um, I've left out some for our socially challenged university student too. Oh, risotto, lovely. <laughs> Very middle class, eh? We still have the fungus-filled radiator. But yeah, I suppose this is quite middle class, isn't it? Oh, sound sounds like our banter enthusiasts at the front door right now. Ring, ring, wine! Win the crowd table! You're supposed to say selector! <laughs> oh. Come on, guys, the, the, the king of banter has returned to his... Sir, Sir, Sir Anthony Hopkins is here for to unleash a little dose of banter. <laughs> you have a nice time at Chipmunk Nazi. Then. I believe you're still listening to Chipmunk Nazi. He is amazing and like, whoa. Are you okay? Take a seat before you fall down. Does the Pope shit on bears? Uh, we, we had, we, we had, we had a few, uh, drinks, beers, little beers, we had a few beers at the student union bar. <laughs> this lovely. Then we started going into lectures, and heckling the professors, the hashtag bands. You were let, heck, yeah, you were heckling right. the lectures that you were paying to teach you. What am I going to go to the lectures for? I fear the society when people like him qualify for uni. Well, I've lost my place. Oh, it's so good. There's it there. Yes, please. <laughs> Oi, Kelly. You look for a bit on the side. So they can be your side or your spice chicken wings. I'm a vegetarian. 
and allergic to bullshit. All right, Gaz. <laughs> Kelly's made you some risotto, which you should try and eat, and will hopefully sober you up and stop you from hitting on my girlfriend right in front of me. Yeah? Yeah? What the fuck's it, It's a couple of chips! <laughs> it's an Italian dish. Why don't you try some? Blah! It's puked all over my risotto, Brandon! All right, pal. I've been holding off on this for a long time, OK? But... I've got your rent money. What? Uh, on the coin for a week? Plus the hundred and fifty pound deposit? Or, 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 or do you not want it? Hmm? Fine. Let's take one. But just get a hold of yourself, man! <laughs> Two alpha males fighting over their own territory. Well, yeah. This is going to be an epic blog post. Mm. Stop blogging about this! Are you trying to silence me, Brandon? Because that will make my blog even more successful. What would make your blog even more successful is if it had a picture of your tits on it. <laughs> Fuck shit. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Oh God, this is exceptional blogging material. I believe in me. I'm out. No, please. What? Stop blogging, Kelly. We need the money. I mean, I'm just having a banter. No, no, no. I'm so, so sorry. Let me get you some ice. Okay. Oh, Oh, fine. How the fuck's that banter? It's only, it's only banter if someone old or, 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 or feminazi is on the receiving end for that's banter. Uh -huh. uh, we're hashtag lads. You and me. We're banter brothers. I think I need to puke now. We are both male, but I think that's sort of where the comparison ends. It was just an overreaction. I mean, you must have had a girlfriend. <laughs> Shut it, shut it, Kelly. Sorry, I should do the laugh again. I'll cut it off this time. Shut it, Kelly. You wouldn't have wanted her to be spoken to like that. I didn't have a word back at the start of the year, but there's some word. Why? Have a guess, Einstein. Shh. You know, I just didn't want to be tied down to the same woman all the time. My massive cock likes to travel around more places than <laughs> I can fucking feel an up top, man. Up top. <laughs> I'll give you a high five, Brandon, if you tell me why you really broke up. I don't know! It all seems so perfect. Everything has finally fallen into place. I'll let you know what I This is just exceptional blocking material. Kelly, please! <laughs> Being with her was the best time of even better than the time I did yoga pods with Danny Dyer. <laughs> I fucking ruined everything. Come on, there, there. Ooh. Tell us all about what happened. Why don't you two boys open a tub of Ben and Jerry's and paint the nails while you show your feelings? Come on, Gaz. We'll have a beer. Maybe I'll just have a beer. And you have a glass of water and we'll talk this through like men. It's just... <coughs> come on, come out with it. It just seems like I showed enough affection for her. I tried to show my feelings for her by having the pants. But take the piss out of her like I could do with the lads, but she just didn't seem to be up for it at all. Oh, Gaz, Gaz. Men and women are two very different beings. Actually, gender is a social construct designed by the patriarchy to oppress women, so there are no differences between men. <laughs> you see? I'm a man and she's a woman, and we both have completely different views, yeah? <laughs> oh, you see, guys, women like the helpless romantic, the sentimental dreamer who ju just wants to whisk them off their feet. The urge to puke is returning. Quiet, Kelly! <laughs> I'm trying to explain to guys what women want. You see, guys, the way I wooed Kelly was making myself stand out from your average run-of-the-mill guy. You bought me a beef burrito, Romeo. Exactly, while most men would have bought the woman their typical chips and a kebab. I went for a more exotic form of cuisine. And I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Listen, Kelly, we were both incredibly drunk at the time, and you looked like someone who wanted a burrito. And that's the key to it, Gaz. If you show that you care, she knows that you care. And that's all it takes, yeah? Can I interrupt this little heartfelt man to my cliche and tell you what women actually want? Well, what do they actually want? A massive schlong. Banter. <laughs> I'm a man-child who can't deal with things emotionally, so instead I use stupid knob gags as a coping mechanism. Banter! Come on, Kelly! That's cruel! Give Gaz a chance! Well, in fairness, two minutes ago, he was creepier than an unwanted uncle at a wedding, but his little puppy dog eyes crying at the moon just with <laughs> some sympathy. You see? You can change him now. Your blog post is coming up to its like big climax. Okay, well, the first thing to remember, which I think 
our expert mansplainer has neglected to mention so far is that women are different. So I would need you to explain to me what she's like. She's beautiful. She, she's like the wondrous beauty of a moonlit sky. Christ, Banterboy gets a few drinks on him and he's suddenly Shakespeare. Let's stalk her on Facebook and see what she's like. What's her name? Yeah, we can use my laptop. Her Facebook profile is my whole page. <laughs> okay, it says she likes tennis, rom-coms and hanging with the gals. She seems lovely. Although it says that she likes Mumford's and Sons, so I do want to stab her in the eye for that. But apart from that, she seems like an nice girl. What do, you, what do you reckon I should do? Message her? Messages are a bit too impersonal. I think we need to go the old-fashioned romantic here. Call up to her house, holding a jukebox, playing Peter Gabriel. <laughs> like in film. Say anything. Gaz knows about say anything. I honestly have no idea what to believe anymore. No, no, no. We watched it together. This is John Cusack in it. It is one of her favourite movies. So we watched it together. It's no Fast and Furious 6 so long. It was. Gaz, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Invite her to the cinema to see Fast and Furious 7! No! You go outside your house, blaring Peter Gabriel like in the movie! Go on, Gaz. We can win back the girl you love and, and, and bring a fantastic conclusion to my blog. Oh, no, no. We'll tag along. We'll obviously hide before the big moment, but we'll be there to cheer you on. Oh, this is so romantic. But he is still pretty pissed. One in. Fuck it. I'll, I'll just take another sip of your beer. Grab them for lunch coverage. Ah! Onwards! <laughs> well, this could go well or horribly wrong. Either way, it's a solid blog ending for me.